Hello my dears and welcome back to mine and Bertram's corner of the internet. I'm Shannon and today I've got another book talk video to share with you guys. I am filming this a very late at night which seems fitting for a spooky book talk video but that's why the lighting's a little different than usual. So back towards the end of the summer I started searching for the scariest books that people had read. <clears throat> I looked for lists and um, the book that I have recently talked about, Hell House, that was on many of the lists, but none of them cropped up more than this one, Ghost Story by Peter Straub. This was number one on so many lists that I knew I had to read it and share it with you guys. Now I had heard about this book many times in passing over the years. It was published in 1979, but for whatever reason I had just never gotten around to reading it. Now is the time. <laughs> and I'm so glad I finally did. So Ghost Story is about a group of aging men. They've been friends for decades. And every so often they get together um, in this group that they've formed that they call the Chowder Society. And they tell each other ghost stories. Some true, some made up. All terrifying. So this all takes place in the fictitious town of Melbourne, New York. And as we're reading, we start, we know that these group of men, not only are they tied together by their friendship, but they're tied together by something terrible that happened, or more specifically, that they did many, many years ago. But it takes a long time before we figure out what that was. So again, pretty early on in the story, one of the men of the Chowder, Chowder Society dies. Um, he dies at the party that another one of them is hosting for friends and family. And soon after that, all of the other members begin having terrible, just terrorizing nightmares. And they're all having the same nightmare. Mm? Mm? <laughs> That's scary. So many stories begin to unfold within this book. First of all, we have the scary stories that are being told to us by members. And as the book goes on, all these stories that were being told sort of begin to weave together to give us a full picture of what's going on. Because for a lot of the book, the plot is almost hidden from the reader, which sounds weird, but it really, really works in this book. One of the things that makes this book so scary, and it truly ranks up there with one of the scariest I've ever read, is the atmosphere. There's this overwhelming feeling of dread <laughs> that just lingers throughout every page. And the story I found could be a bit slow at parts. It takes a bit to get into it, but once you do, you're hooked, or at least I was. Um, one thing I would want to warn you of, though, is the beginning, the opening sequence. If you're a little put off by, by, by what you read in that opening sequence, keep going. Um, honestly, when I read that opening sequence, I had a bit of anxiety because I thought it was going to be one kind of book, but it wasn't. So if you have those same kind of feelings, just hang on. It's not that kind of book. So, yes, I wish I could get more into it, but honestly, we would need to sit here for hours and hours while we tried to, <laughs> while I tried to tell you everything that was going on, weave the story in the way that he has, and it's a 500-page book with many, many different perspectives, um, and we, we just don't have that kind of time. But to me, at its core, Ghost Story is a look at when do you pay for the things that you've done? Like, how long does that take? Things, the terrible things that you've done in your past that you tell no one about, how does that affect your future? How does that affect you many, many years later when maybe you've been trying for so long to move past it? I found that an interesting part of that book. Then it also is, so aside from that sort of 
thinking it's also just the straight up scary stories which are so juicy and so fun there are some lines in this book that when I read them <laughs> like my blood ran cold and that that's not easy um, to do to me but and there were some lines and they were just sort of um, sort of inconspicuous lines that would just really kick me hard and that's so fun I love when that happens um, so there's that there's the writing it's just so well written so you've got these ghost stories within a ghost story within a ghost story kind of and that's so fun then plus you also have supernatural elements that kind of come into play um, and it's just there's relationships family relationships friendships you know how far do you go to protect yourself and the people that mean the most to you and those kind of stories just really I think we can sort of all relate to and they can all sort of get us in a in an emotional kind of place and this book just really did it for me on a ton of different levels so I would highly highly recommend picking up Ghost Story if you have not read it I don't think you'll regret it if you're looking for a fun, scary read that's very well written. Um, I'm interested now to check out more from this author. So that really does clue up sort of October's scary book talks. I do have a few more from from horror authors coming up in November just because there wasn't enough time and they came out relatively late in October and those are Sleeping Beauties that have been written by Stephen King and his son Owen King and also um, Strange Weather which was also written by one of Stephen King's sons but his other son Joe Hill Joe Hill is one of my favorite writers he is so good um, so I'm gonna have both of those books coming up in November. <laughs> but yes, that's going to do it for our sort of spooky reads. This is going to be the last the last book talk here with Bertram. But on Monday we do have a, a scary movie video coming up. So do stay tuned for that. And before I go, I just wanted to give a few shout outs to some channels that I've really been loving lately. The first is for a woman named um, Mia Sandoval. Um, she is just a really lovely, supportive woman. She's absolutely gorgeous and she does these wonderful beauty related videos on her channel. If you're into that, definitely check her out. I think you will like it. Um, second is Cook with Manisha. This woman is a very talented in the kitchen. Again, she's very supportive, a wonderful friend, and um, yeah, I definitely think you should go and check her out as well. And finally, Time with Key. I hope I'm saying that right. But again, she's another beauty channel. She's just got such a wonderful, warm spirit. I absolutely love watching her videos. And I'm sure you will too. Anyway, that's going to do it for me for today, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.